like Savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got this? What's going on guys, Dr. Dave here coming at you guys with another video. In uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about a few tips and tricks that might help improve your gameplay and just overall mechanics that are noteworthy to know about the game. Um, I do want to mention that I am having it, holding another giveaway. Uh, the link will be down in the description on how to enter. Uh, it's really easy. You just uh, follow a few simple steps and I will be holding uh, this same giveaway, the same prize every month. Uh, it's a $20 giveaway, so I just want to, you know, give back to you guys for supporting my channel um, for supporting my stream and just following me through this journey um, don't forget you guys can also use support a creator code dr. Dave in the item shop to support me directly and I would really appreciate it and let's go ahead and jump right into this video my first tip and in this one I do want to just mention that this is something that people for some reason have a problem with um, they get into a game they open a chest or they find a floor gun and then they walk around, find a chest, and they start spamming on the chest in order to get the weapon. So what happens is you'll do this, and then you'll do this. Well, one sec. So what happens is you'll do this. You have your shotgun out, you're running around, open the chest, and then you'll do this. And then people don't understand why that happens. So I'm going to explain it. So what happens is in Season 7, they added a mechanic that uh, you could hold to swap. And if you see that right there, it says pick up, hold to swap. So this is, for me, especially important because I hold my shotgun in my first slot. So if I were to open a chest and get a flint knock and just walk around and go like this in ADS and then we realize that I don't have my shotgun. Uh, I feel like this issue becomes more prevalent when you have auto pickup on because it's trying to pick up and you're also mashing at the same time to pick up the weapon and eventually it just counts as a hold and you drop your weapon. For uh, the flint knock pistol, so <clears throat> this has got to be by far one of my favorite items that they've added to Fortnite um, within the recent updates. Uh, this item is extremely useful. Um, if you have redeploy, you could use it in order to save mats and to get further into the zone if I can find it. Uh, there we go. So if you have redeploy, you can get some distance to help you travel into the zone. I think you can actually go further maybe, you know. Um, you can use it to avoid fall damage. So I'll show you that fall damage is on. And then if you just go up real high and then just drop. Do that. If you're unsure if you're not high enough, or if you're uh, if you're unsure that the shot that you've taken is not close enough to the ground, you can just place a ramp and a pyramid at the same time to be sure that you avoid all fall damage, just like that. Now another thing that you can do is this gun actually takes you three stories high, so when you're in a build battle, you can use a helpful you can use this as a utility, uh, just like you can to avoid fall damage. You can use it to take high ground. So if you aim straight down, jump, and shoot, you can take high ground with it. And that's just to show you how high up it takes you. It can take you three stories high. Uh, this item essentially works just like bouncers. So whenever I see this item in game, I love using it. It's really good in scrims. Uh, if you're turtling or if you're ramping across and you see someone and you get an opening, you just place one and then you take their high ground. You know, you can even place those walls. You can even place those walls, so you get out here, you say you're going like this, trying to get into zone, place one here, and now you have height on them, you know, so it's really good, uh, I've seen a lot of players using this, Martaz really likes this gun, he's the pro player in EU, uh, and I personally really like this gun, especially in build battles, and uh, in order to avoid fall damage, I like it more than holding redeploy, because you can also use it for ashing someone with a ton of damage, um, it's really good, super effective. Um, I love the item. Here's just a few in-game examples of a flint knock that I've executed myself with avoiding fall damage and in order to take high ground in order to get on the top of an opponent. A 
Let's go. Templates. Damn. Knock one. Ooh, you just hit me. Good shit, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here. Don't even worry about that loot. All right, and for the next tip, I just wanted to talk about something that they also added, I believe, in a recent um, Season 8 update, that you can actually, they increase the distance, or they increase the angle at which you can slide down a mountain and avoid all fall damage. So normally sliding down a mountain like this would result in fall damage, but now you can slide down it and just take no fall damage. So I'm going to show you one more time, just to show you that fall damage is on, and if you don't slide, that you will take... I just slid down immediately but uh, that is something that you can do in order to avoid all fall damage um, it's really good now because it can help save you those little bit of mats that we don't have to worry about using them this uh, that mountain over by uh, Dusty Depot and yeah, there's a few other places you cannot use it on Polar Peak I believe because it's still just too steep uh, but there are a lot of other mountains that you can use it on to avoid taking fall damage all right, so for this next tip, uh, this is going to be something for a lot of scrim players. We've noticed that the hamster balls are running rampant in scrim lobbies now um, and even in pop-ups. There are a lot of people are honestly very upset about the way that this item works or this vehicle. You can get in it. You don't have to worry about getting uh, hijacked. You don't have to worry about getting shot out. There's virtually no downside to being in this, being in this vehicle, whereas every other vehicle that they've ever had has had a downside. Well, recently when they added the N-Pulse grenades back, they also added a multiplier, so where this actually will launch vehicles a lot further than it will launch a person. So if I get right here, and try, I'll try to align up, and I throw this about right here. Knocks me to about, let's say right there. If I take this and throw this in an exact same position as I throw it right there, the impulse has been increased by 344%, so you'll see. So you can notice that it launches a lot further. And this is going to be really especially good uh, in trying to get them out of the circle. So imagine you're in final circle and uh, all you see is hamster balls just chilling around everywhere. Having a few impulse grenades could be handy. It uh, could also be good to getting people off of height. So it's honestly a pretty good ad by Fortnite introducing the item back. All right, so for this next tip, I'm going to talk about uh, first shot accuracy with your ARs after a sniper. So after you fire a shot with your sniper, first shot accuracy can take some time to enable. So with my AK while I'm running, you'll we'll see that it's right there. If I ADS, it comes up. If I crouch, it takes even less time. Well, if I shoot my sniper rifle, you'll see the difference between walking and ADSing versus sniping and then ADSing. See, it takes so long to get first shot accuracy afterwards but with this trick you can actually cancel that out so what you'll do is you'll take your shot switch your shotgun and then your ar and you have immediate first shot accuracy so i'll show you that one more time you have first shot accuracy immediately versus that so Again, it, it could be end up being a small trick, but it, every little bit matters. If you take um, your snipe, you tag them real well. Sometimes this little bit of time could be enough time that it could take for them to be able to build depending on your angle um, and how well they know what they're doing. So that's just another, another small tip and on to the last one. All right, so for the last trick that we have, uh, this is gonna be mainly for scrim players, but, but this can apply to a few pub matches. So recently, <clears throat> Fortnite updated the launch pad in order to give you, um, I think, a 25% boost um, after jumping on the jump after jumping on the launch pad, and it jumps you 25% higher. So that little bit right there. Is so whenever you're in a scrim lobby and you have. someone just camped up right there if you're in the air for too long then you have to do it you know what i mean this time it takes all the shots before you hit the ground 
well i believe i saw tfu do this on his stream and i've seen it on it by a few reddit users uh what they actually do is they go like this and they place this in order to negate your momentum upwards so it's really good in order to get distance and uh it's good to rotate into the zone sometimes this just this little bit of motion right here can be enough to get into the zone and you risk taking less damage you actually move a lot faster vertic uh horizontally as well so you don't have to worry but it's easier to adjust easier to dodge. so that's just one thing i saw tv doing in one of his pop-up cups um i've seen a few other users on reddit do it like i said but it's really useful a good amount of distance and if you have it Say. You can get a fair amount of distance still. On the ground, but you'll see that if you go up just three stories high, you can still get quite a bit of distance on it. So this is just another tip that I figured that everyone should know. It's really good for scrim players and think about. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.